everyone. Uh, my name's Spring from Bicentennial Daycare and today we are going to read a story the night before Christmas and then we are going to sing a couple songs. I hope everybody's getting excited for Christmas. This story is by Clement C. Moore and it was illustrated by Teen and it is courtesy of Aladdin Press. "'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama and her kerchief and I and my cat had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the window and threw up the sash. The moon on the breasts of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, he's coursers they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was hunting or turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished and with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad, broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh to his team gave a whistle and the way they all flew like the dawn of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. Okay. And I have a special guest here with us today. He's all ready for Christmas. Do you know who this is? This is Rudolph and he glide, guides Santa's sleigh and we're gonna sing Rudolph's song. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose and if you ever saw it you would even say it glowed and all of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names then one foggy christmas eve santa came to say rudolph with your nose so bright won't you glide my sleigh tonight then how the reindeer loved him as they shouted out with glee rudolph the red-nosed reindeer you'll go down in his story history thanks everybody have a safe and merry christmas see you next year